So I've asked the AI app to write me a comedy rap song based on I'll Be Missing You by P. Diddy, where the overall theme is an unexpected journey. Yes, yes, it is episode 10 of the Rhyme Time Podcast. We're back with number 10. The, 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 the cent, the, not the centenary, the deck, the de- 10 episodes. We're 10 episodes in. Here we are, we're still going. Am I peaking way too much? Maybe a little bit. I'll bring myself down. Hello, how are we getting on? Thank you if you've been listening thus far for sticking with us. Me, just me, on my own. Uh, I say us because... Uh, <clears throat> I have, a little, I have an idea for a change of format, I suppose. Like the last nine episodes were relatively free form with room for improvisation. But the problem is when you're improvising on your own, it's very difficult to come up with stuff. Um, especially you start getting inside your own head. So what I think I'm going to try doing from now is structure the 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 podcast almost in segments and then finish it off with a song at the end that isn't so much improvised because i mean i i don't i listen i don't have the skill and i'm tired of 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 lying to you and and if you even get to the end of the song at the end um it's it's they haven't been good <laughs> a lot of them haven't been good and what do we always say here on the Rhyme Time Podcast? It's always about getting better to the better, and we're getting better to the better. Um, so, what I've decided to do is introduce a co-host of sorts, I suppose, in the form of AI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use AI to help come up with bits segments like you know sketches that i can do poems scenes whatever and then at the end of the episode whatever it is that i'm talking about i will just amalgamate all the the topics that i was speaking on and then get ai to write me a song it's like song lyrics about whatever it is and then i'll go away on the loop station and i will have uh, uh, pre-written music and i'll put like a melody on top of whatever it is that the song is because some of the other songs when I was just going free form, it was the exact same melody over and over again. So this time what I'm going to be doing is have it write me the lyrics. So I won't have to worry about writing that and then just worry about getting a good melody on and at the end, just have the whole song. I pretty much just said the same thing over and over there again. You get the point, all right? It's per- fairly straightforward. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to be introducing, I'm using a, a, an AI app and, uh, just get her to 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 introduce herself. Uh, uh, hello, AI. Are you excited to be my new podcast co-host? Send. Hello, I'm excited to help you with your podcast. While I can't speak or listen in real time, I can assist with generating, refining, and discussing content ideas, scripting, editing, and more. Let me know how I can support you in your podcasting journey. Will you tickle my toes, please? I'm here to assist you with information and support, so I'm unable to physically interact with you. If you have any questions or need assistance with a topic, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to help. Can we work on that though, please? Can you, at some stage would you be able to tickle my toes upon command, even metaphorically? I'm here to provide information and assist with a wide range of topics within my training data. If you have any questions or need help with something, please. Okay, okay, I think we get the point. Thank you. Thank you. Shh, shh. Oh, all right. Uh, so, yeah, you get the point. I'm going to. Have AI help me out with topics. Um, 
So that's it. This is the Rhyme Time podcast. It's like basically the format now is going to be talking on a topic, making spots and scenes out of it. And then at the end of every episode, I have a song. Okay. Uh, and this time it'll be a lot more structured than what it has been before because mama's been, ma- mama, mama goes back to, to, to uh, edit the videos and the, the audio afterwards. And particularly after mama's last episode last week with whatever the, in the name of God that was. I had AI write me a song about Austin Butler, Butler being a mix between Elvis and St. Patrick. And it was, oh, it was trash. See, the problem with AI as well is that it doesn't really, it's quite heavily censored. And some of the topics that I want to speak on, like I, I've been I've been messing around with the actual app and sometimes it will just stonewall you. I'm sorry. Oh my God, indigestion. It'll just completely stonewall you. So I think I'm going to have to get a bit creative about workarounds, particularly with some of the stuff that, you know, I, I, I don't really want to be doing bland stuff particularly if it's a, a a comedy podcast but that's my say hello to my my co-host no idea for a name for her yes maybe i can't just keep calling her ai andrea andrea let's go with andrea so me and andrea um are going to take a look at <laughs> no do you know what we will do first i'm going to ask andrea to pick an overall theme for this week's podcast so I think that'll work well to hold everything together. No matter what it is that we're talking about, it'll be unified by this one theme. Um, so, hi, AI. Is it okay if I call you Andrea going forward? Ah, sugar. Uh, yeah, she said I can call her Andrea if you like. I turned off her sound. Uh, so, um, Andrea, Andrea, can you give me a random overall theme that I can use for this week's podcast? Certainly. How about the theme of unexpected journeys? This theme can encompass a wide range of topics such as personal growth, challenges, adventures, surprises, and serendipitous moments. It offers flexibility for exploring various stories insights and experiences okay so unexpected journeys that is the theme of this week's podcast <laughs> let me just write it down there unexpected journeys right and who we're going to be talking about this week is i've been seeing videos on social media for the past few years relating to p diddy and his wild parties, uh, sex, sex, uh, the, the naughty uh, white parties, or whatever he calls them. And he recently came out with allegations, not he, there was allegations against him that, you know, I don't need to go into the severity of them. A lot of women coming forward and saying uh, um, some fairly, some fairly damning stuff about him, particularly he was going, I don't know, does anybody remember your one, Cassie? She was a singer, R&B singer back in the day, but he, uh, he he did some bad things there. He did some bad things. And there's a few other people as well who came forward. And weirdly enough, it, it, it's, I don't know, it, there's a lot of lads who came forward as well. Like, there was one fella, who's your man? Jones, right? There's a producer called Rodney Lil Rod Jones. Uh, the producer worked with Combs on his L- The Love album. You know, not everybody's creative in, in all ways. Uh, and says he was subjected to sexual misconduct for duration of the production process. Uh, he claims that it, Diddy owns him $50,000 for his work as well. Uh <laughs> He said that, that Combs repeatedly groped his anus and crotch without consent and attempted to groom him into accepting a homosexual relationship by showing him explicit videos claiming that it was a normal practice in the music industry. Now, I don't want to downplay the severity of this assault, but just from reading that sentence alone about that behavior, I think 
98% of lads can relate to that behavior with their friends. We're open butts, touching uh, Chris Atches and showing each other um, um, videos and, you know, bordering bordering on, on uh, homoerotic relationships is, is uh, what a lot of lads can relate to. But obviously, listen, listen, little Rod got his little Rod caught up in something. Um, uh, P. Diddy's uh, Diggies. P. Diddy's Diggies. Uh, <laughs> and he claims, he also claims that P. Diddy would walk around his gaff naked and force him to watch him shower and alleges that when he told Combs' chief of staff, Christina Coram, about Combs' action, he was told, yeah, you know. Sean will be Sean. He also claims that Combs frequently displayed guns as an intimidation tactic, tactic and threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face. <laughs> of course, this is all alleged, but if this is true, P. Diddy is an absolute lunatic. It always seemed like a bit of a lunatic. Like, like he goes in, he even admitted there was like a, um, a a music executive called Steve Stout who used there was a music video with a scene showing P Diddy as Jesus Christ being crucified on the cross and apparently P Diddy didn't, didn't want that to be shown so he and two of his buddies went into Steve Stout's office and bottled him with a champagne bottle and he just admitted to it he was like uh, he said I, I, I really can't speak about I really can't speak about, but, and there's a typo, I really can't speak about it, but I can say this, the way I handled myself in his office was completely wrong, and I've since apologized to Steve about that, and I felt like, you know, I just disappointed myself, and he was sent to a one-day anger management class, one day for bottling a lad with a, uh, a champagne bottle. So what will I do here with this? Will we do a scene? Um, how's about, uh, two men bury, okay, champagne bottle. Okay, so let's ask AI to sound off. I'm getting a phone call from my friend. No. Um, okay. Andrea, can you write me a poem about P. Diddy attacking a music executive with a champagne bottle and going to a one-day ang anger management class? And then can you also follow it up with a segment about how he likes to grow? Write me a poem about P. Diddy saying he is the Jesus Christ of walking around naked, screaming, it's booty time. Include Champagne, The Love Album, and Tasty Faces, okay? So this is the poem that AI came up with. In a world of music, a figure so grand, P. Diddy proclaims with an outstretched hand, I am the Jesus of naked screams, divine and bold. In this realm of rhythm, my story is told. With champagne in hand, a toast to the night, the love album shines, a beacon of light. Tasty faces and booty time, flavors divine. In this sympathy of life, or spirits entwine. Through melodies sweet, and rhythm so pure, P. Diddy's essence, a presence so sure, dancing free in the moonlight's glow, embracing the moment, letting spirits flow. So raise a glass to the music's embrace, let love and joy fill every space. In this world of passion, in this divine place, P. Diddy's spirit, a timeless grace. That was a poem by uh, the AI, and I had to pause that numerous times because it refused 
to uh, write any of the other versions that I asked it to. So that was the version you got. And it was okay. I think this is going to be a problem I'm going to come up against is that anything I ask it to do. I asked it to include faces getting eaten. And I said it couldn't do that because it was promoting violent behavior. I mean, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> fuck. AI, I, Andrea, what's your problem with me? or any questions you have, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to help you. Okay, how about this? Over the years, P. Diddy has changed his name numerous times. Logically, what is the next name he will change it to? His name to? As of my last knowledge cut off in September 2021, P. Diddy also known as Sean Combs, has gone through several name changes. Okay, you're... This is falling apart. <laughs> what are we going on? Okay, so we have... What else did he talk about in these uh, uh, interviews? Uh... So there was actually a project on Hulu announced uh, on December 3rd and they completely cancelled it. it was P. Diddy was going to get his own reality TV show with the working title of Diddy Plus 7 um, which was supposed to be a follow up to um, something similar to like Keeping Up With The Kardashians but they obviously axed it and it was actually going to be produced by James Corden's production company so because we're not ever going to get a version of that, maybe, maybe we should ask Andrea to create us a scene from this show, okay? So, Andrea, uh, uh, sorry, Jesus, I had the thing on already. Andrea, could you create me a scene from a fictional reality TV show about P. Diddy and his family that was going to be produced by Hulu. It was going to be produced by James Corden's production company and it was supposed to be very, very similar to Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Let's see what Andrea has for us. I swear to God, if she says no. All right. We've got something. So the title of this scene is The Combs Chronicles. And the scene is the grand family dinner. Interior, Combs family, lavish dining room, evening. The camera sweeps through a magnificent dining room adorned with opulent decor and a long table set for a feast. At the head of the table sits Sean Diddy Combs, a mogul in his own right. Looking sharp in a tailored suit, his presence commands attention as he surveys the room, ensuring everything is perfect. Around the table, his children, <laughs> King, Jesse, Delilah, Chance, Quincy, and Christian are gathered. And listen, Delilah is, is, is spelled D apostrophe L-I-L-A. And they're all gathered, each with their own unique styles and personality. Chatter and laughter filling the air. The room is a blend of contemporary mix, contemporary luxury and warmth. A setting fitting for TV's next reality royalty. Enter James Corden, the show's producer with his trademark grin. He claps his hand to gather everyone's attention, his eyes sparkling with the excitement for the buzz that this show will create. James Corden. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'll try. I'll try James Corden's accent. I'm not going to do P Diddy's accent for obvious reasons. <laughs> Maybe what I do here. Uh, yeah. So James Corden, cheerful. All right, Combs family. Tonight's dinner is about celebrating, but let's not forget the cameras are rolling. We're bringing to real. We're bringing real to reality TV. 
Let's show the world how the combs do it. Terrible <laughs> accent. P. Diddy, smiling with confidence. James, when have we ever not kept it real? This gestures around the table. This is family, business, and legacy all in one. Let's eat and make some television history. The children nod and murmur agreements, each taking their cues from their father, the patriarch. They know the drill. This is another opportunity to showcase their family's bond and empire to the world. As the family starts to dine, personal chefs bring out an array of gourmet dishes, each more extravagant than the last. The camera zooms in on the succulent food, then pans to capture the family's reaction. Christian, excitedly, you know, with all these cameras around, I feel like we're superheroes in our own show. The Combs save the day, one episode at a time. Quincy, laughing, and what's our superpower? Flipping business and making hits? King leans in jokingly. Nah, it's looking good while we do it, obviously. The family erupts into laughter, an authentic moment that resonates with the warmth of a family that genuinely enjoys each other's company. Jesse, Delilah, Chance in unison. And don't forget the fashion. The sisters giggle, showcasing their designer outfits, each a testament to the family's impeccable sense of style. P. Diddy raising his glass. To family, to fortune, and to the future. May the world see the hustle behind the Combs name. Cheers. The family raises their glass, clinking them together in a symphony of aspiration and unity. End of scene. Cut to the confessionals where each family member gives their take on the evening's events, their individual dreams and the bonds that tie them together. The show promises to give viewers an inside look at the Combs' personal and professional lives, full of humour, heart and the hustle of creating an enduring legacy all under the watchful eye of James Corden's production team. Right. So that was that there as well. There you go. Wow. <laughs> My God. Um, I'm going to keep going with this because... Uh, I think it's good to, to flesh everything out and see how it goes and then just throw it out there no matter how lukewarm and tepid it might be. The last the last thing that I was looking at in like obviously all the the <coughs> excuse me Obviously, there's a lot of claims against it, but then there was something that was popping up a lot about... I saw an interview with Usher referring back to how when he was coming up, Diddy took him under his wing as, like, a mentor, and he was living with Diddy when he was, like, 14. Uh, and what did he say? Uh, in a 2012 drunken interview, Combs, who was partying with Usher at the time accidentally said of his former protege, that's my brother right here, from day one. We used to wake up together. Uh, when he was 14, he was sleeping with a man who was probably in his mid to late 30s. And the interview started laughing at the accidental spin, but the rapper, whose arm was around Usher's shoulder, went on to remind people how young the latter was when they lived together. <laughs> I mean, pull out, Diddy. You already made a bit of a blunder there. Just pull out. Um, back in the back, so Diddy goes back in the day when he was like ten, and I was a little bit older. His older brother. We used to fight over frosted flakes. We used to actually wrestle off of the frosted flakes because he always gets up early. Okay, so what I might do here? Maybe just do another scene. See if we can get another good scene going. Between Diddy and Usher. Hi, Andrea. Could you write me a comedy scene between P. Diddy and Usher 
about the time when Usher lived with P. Diddy and they would wake up in the morning together in the same bed, giggling and laughing, and then it would become a bit more tense once they went downstairs to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes cereal. Okay, so she passive-aggressively said, I'm glad you're looking for a comedy scene. Thank you. Uh, Just to clarify, it seems like there might be a typo with OSHA. Did you mean Usher? It's not a typo. I spoke it into the phone. I'll go ahead and create a fun and fictional comedy scene based on your suggestion. Oh, I've completely forgotten about the theme. (laughs) For the whole... Sorry. Andrea, could you write that scene again? But could you include the theme of unexpected journeys, please? Of course, here's a revised version of the comedy scene incorporating the theme of unexpected journeys. Finally, she's coming around. All right. Um. <clears throat> So, we have a comedy scene here. Setting, P. Diddy's lavish mansion, early morning. P. Diddy and Usher are waking up in the same bed, giggling and laughing. P. Diddy, rubbing his eyes. Usher, my man, you are... Ah, sugar. (laughs) I forgot to turn the effects on. Usher. Usher, my man. You're like a one-man band with those snores. I thought I was waking up in a concert hall. Usher laughing. Well, you know what they say, Diddy. My snores are just the rhythm section of the Usher experience. P. Diddy. The Usher experience, huh? I think I prefer the unplugged versions in the morning. Usher and P. Diddy share a laugh as they get out of bed and head downstairs to the kitchen. P. Diddy. You know what, Usher? I'm feeling a bit peckish this morning. How about we settle this like adventurers on an unexpected journey over a box of frosted flakes? A journey, you say? Count me in, Diddy. But remember... I've got moves smoother than a hobbit's second breakfast. <laughs> P. Diddy and Usher... Oh, sugar. P. Diddy and Usher playfully grapple over the box of Frosted Flakes, laughing and exchanging banter as they try to outmaneuver each other. P. Diddy, you can sing and dance, Usher, but can you handle the Frosted Flake frenzy on this unexpected journey? <laughs> Usher, ha, watch and learn, Diddy. I've got the stealth of a ninja and the charm of a wizard. (laughs) I'll have those frosted flakes in no time. As the friendly scuffle escalates, the unexpected journey takes a wild turn when the box rips open and frosted flakes rain down on the floor like confetti. P. Diddy, oh no, look what you've done, Usher. Frosted flakes avalanche incoming. Usher grinning mischievously. Fear not, Diddy. This unexpected journey just got more interesting. Frosted flakes everywhere. It's a breakfast bonanza. (laughs) P. Diddy and Usher share a chuckle, grabbing spoons and sitting down amidst the frosted flakes chaos to enjoy their impromptu breakfast on the frosted flake covered floor, their laughter echoing through the mansion like a merry melody. (laughs) <laughs> and scene all right andrea that was a bit better uh that time um <laughs> maybe i need to like tailor it towards writing comedy stuff specifically the poem was bad the um uh, scene the 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 scene with the reality tv show that was also bad as well but I think it's, if, if I prompt the AI to do more absurd stuff, then it's a lot more hilarious when it comes together, particularly when it tries to be funny. Um, but now what I am going to do is, given all the stuff that we've been talking about in the podcast, 
I'm going to ask Andrea to write me a song. And I might get her to do a couple of versions until she gets it right. Uh, I'll have the music done and then I will also create a melody along with it. So this is, this is I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, good luck. So I've asked the AI app to write me a comedy rap song based on I'll Be Missing You by P. Diddy where the overall theme is an unexpected journey. And I've included stuff like uh, what we've been talking about in the episode, like uh, referring to himself as Jesus Christ, own people money, little rod, um, um, walking around naked and touching people's butts, James Corden's reality TV show, wrestling over Frosted Flakes with Usher. So here we go. journey jesus near touching little rods with no fear oh 52 producers it's quite a mess walking around yelling booty time in undress james corden's show p diddy's kin tickle time with usher the laughter begins wrestling for frosted flakes the cereal spree random correlations in a comedy spree missing you on this journey so grand from Jesus booty time Life's unplanned Little rocks Reality TV player Tickle time Frosted flakes in the air 150k bills to pay booty time shouting a wild display naked strollers booty time scream james corden's show a reality dream tickle time from a thush of a joyous sight frosted flakes wrestle what a delight random correlations in this comedy tale p diddy's journey a merry trail missing you on this journey so strange from touching little rods to reality range. Fifty K deaths, booty times call, tickle time, frost flicks brawl. Missing you on this journey So offbeat From reality TV Booty times heat Fifty K deaths Little rods and view Tickle time Frosted flakes, comedy new. Missing you on this journey. So upbeat from reality TV to 
Booty times heat. B -b -b Booty times heat. Fifty K debts. Lot of money. Little rods and few. Tickle time. Frosted flakes. Comedy and new. And that was it. Whoa. And that's the AI song written by AI about P. Diddy. Uh, using all of the stuff that we were talking about in the episode. Could have gone smoother, I think. <laughs> uh, but it was interesting. Overall interesting. It had its moments. It had its moments. Like the scene had its moments. Might need to rejig stuff. I don't know. But, listen, if you liked this if you're listening to this if you're watching this leave a comment if you want any with any feedback that you have uh i'd super appreciate it if you're listening to this on like you know spotify or any of the other platforms just to leave an honest review of what you thought of the episode or what you think of the podcast overall i am constantly seeking to improve it and make it better i i do like this line by with using the ai to help me structure the podcast a bit more this was a bit wild a bit all over the place and there's some teething pains with the actual app you know it it, it does it, it's, it's not as free form as i would like it to be and it stones walls me a lot so you and me andrea might need to have a little bit of a chat okay um a very uh, i don't know what i'm saying shut up shut up who am i <laughs> Thank you very much for listening to episode 10 of the Rhyme Time podcast. We always strive to make it better. And here it is. Let's just let's just play it all out. Let's good luck. See you. See you on 11. See you on 11. <laughs>